Good morning, you guys. This is Sasha with Simply Sasha. Welcome to another vlog. Um, here we talk about healthy living as a working mom. I've got two little boys and just trying to live my best life in this year that we've been blessed to see. So anyway, it is January 2nd. Not sure when this video will get uploaded, probably within the next week. Um, but I'm still off on break. I'm a high school teacher, so I just decided, hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and vlog a little bit today. Um, so the boys are up eating some yogurt. We just got off the phone with my hubby. We FaceTime every single day while he's at work because they just love talking to their dad. And I need to get going with my day. I actually have several things to do. Um, I've been trying to clean up clothes and things like that, so I need to take the first batch out, drop it off to Goodwill, see about selling some things. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So right now I'm going to go ahead and get these beds made up and try to do a little something um, workout-wise because it's the second and I didn't do anything on the first. I was too tired. We went up to Detroit for a night watch service and I drove up and drove back because my husband had to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning. A girl was tired so I literally just laid in the bed and watched Netflix. So today is my first day uh, being active and I'm okay with that. I don't do resolutions. Um, check out my video. I'll leave it in the I cards. It was goodbye 2019, hello 2020. And it was just talking about having a vision. Um, when you drive, when you do anything, you kind of have a layout of what you need to do. Me being an educator, I find that's really important to just have a vision or an outline. And sometimes you have to change it and be flexible. But as long as you know what the ultimate goal is, that's all that matters. And that is how I'm living this year. I've got a lot of things, but the ultimate outcome is whatever's going to help me be a better person so let me go ahead and get these beds made up and i'll come back a little bit Wow, that's an amazing story, buddy. What else happened? When that blue dinosaur kept him down, and he felt like he could coconuts fell the tree. Oh, coconuts fell out the tree? Yeah. When the big dinosaur fell the tree down, it was a messy coconut mess. It was a coconut mess? Yeah. I don't think Mooney's listening to the story. Well, right, right, ah! can you say good morning? Good morning. Are you going to wave? Wave to the camera. Are you reading? Mooney. Say hey. Yeah. Say we dancing. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so the beds are made and the boys are in their room. I need to fold up these towels and try to get that done. It's not necessarily like this is more like a day in the life, but 
It doesn't take me long because I'm not doing my setups and my preps and stuff like that. This is just taking care of the few odds and ends that are not done. I washed everything before we went out of town and some of it is still flooded up because like I said yesterday, I chose to do absolutely nothing because I was super exhausted and I just did mom duties and nothing else. I need to fold up this load of clothes. I think we might have some clothes that are still in the dryer that are dry and clean up the kitchen and try to take down the Christmas tree today just because that's not a wait to the weekend thing. That's uh, needed to get together so your house can be back in order so you can set up for when you go back to work. So let's get to it. So tell me who are some of these people who are over here? Can you find mommy? Oh, that was when mommy was in high school. That is a throwback with her cheering days. Basketball? Mommy was a cheerleader for basketball and football. Where else can you find mommy and daddy at? Right there. Who are we, who are we holding in that picture? Shalaya. We're holding Shalaya. Is that your sister? Yep. Yep, and then we got... What about us in high school? And basketball and football. I, I don't think you've been in a basketball and a football game, but you're not in high school. But you guys are up there. Whoa. You see that? Yeah. Mommy and Daddy, when she's pregnant with everybody. That's what else up there. Yes, that is. That's... Caleb and Josiah. And who else? Slayer right there. Yep, I've got everybody's photos and everybody's and maternal. Mommy, Daddy. And die on the trip on the island. Absolutely. Do you um, like those pictures? Yep. Is it time to take down the Christmas tree? Yep. Mooney, what you think? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, oh, there we go. That means mommy's got to take a pull back in the ponytail, Ninja <laughs> Warrior style, Whoa. ready to go. Look at all those dishes, y'all. I still got to get mommy. the tree down and mommy. wash the dishes. You and deal with the fact. You just ate. I'm not about to give you a lunchable right now. <sighs> Mommy. These boys would be in the refrigerator all the time. And then what they do is they snack and then they'll sit it down somewhere and then they'll want something else. And so, like, they'll be in the cabinets trying to grab chips, fruit bar. Then I want to eat. Then I don't want to eat that. I want to eat that. So I've been trying to. Cut it back and look down there. That was straightened up an hour ago. And then they went downstairs, started playing like normal. They're just, they're interesting. Especially that Josiah. So we got two kind of learnings going on. Josiah is doing his activity table. This He's really good at identifying. Look in the boxes. Where is the picture of the shoulder? Shoulder. Good job. Yay! So I am finally making me some breakfast. It's, well, more like brunch because it's almost 12 o'clock. But I just tried to show you a little bit of getting them back into learning time flashcards and things like that. We've been off of that for about a week and a half, almost two weeks, giving them a break. And honestly, when they're in two separate learning spaces, it's a lot easier, but we don't have the ability to just put one in one space and one another. It is very tedious as an educator because Sometimes a teacher is not best to educate their own child. Some people will disagree with that. Um, but it's something that I struggle with. And so I try to make it fun because it's hard to shift from parent to teacher at the age that they're at. I think it's going to get better. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm making me some scrambled eggs with spinach. And I think I'm going to do some Dr. Preggers veggie patties because I just need to get them done. I'm just trying to get back into lowering my carbs. So as long as I can stay um, like under 50 net carbs, which is a lot more than what I've been having, I'm good with that. Um, by the time this video comes out, I will have done my first uh, Fit Friday. I can't really remember. I think it was like... Fun Fit Friday, uh, where I do weight loss updates. I'll leave that in the iCards above. But 
anyway you guys let me go ahead and get this food going because i really want to get this tree down and i'm trying to edit a video and clean up this kitchen and make sure they're still having learning time which really should be supervised i'm not going to sit there and tell you that learning time should be unsupervised which is what i'm doing today and absolutely but i'm doing blocks with caleb we've already read and just i was doing the activity table and i'm just trying to get it together so we can get back into routine and get set up for next week so keep me in your prayers please keep me in your prayers because it's a lot to do and i need to hurry up because time is ticking All right, so I finally have majority of my footage off. It's like 40 minutes of raw footage for this vlog I'm editing. Yeah, if you are someone who does vlogging or interested in doing it, it's a lot of work. I think people underestimate the amount of time it takes, but that's a whole other video. But this is my like breakfast. It's called breakfast crack. It's from 21 Day Meal Plan. I don't follow that plan anymore, but it's a good meal plan. Tiffany is on Instagram and on um, YouTube. Um, but anyway, the, I really like this breakfast idea, and I had some extra ones I need to get rid of. Trying to get back in that low-carb life. And then this is my uh, green smoothie. My spinach is fresh and not frozen. That's why it's more like a green juice. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and edit. And then uh, I'll come back when I'm done editing and hopefully uh, getting ready to take this Christmas tree down because it's already about to be 1 o'clock, which means it's about to be their nap time. Mommy! I'm uh, going to speed up my day. Just finished editing. I'm exporting it now, so I'm like right on schedule-ish because it's 2.13. So hopefully I'll be able to get it up by 4. That's normally my goal. I like to post them either 2, 3, or 4 o'clock. Um, that's just my personal preference, especially when it's a Tuesday or a Sunday one. But since it is Thursday, I'm just putting it up by 4 o'clock just so it has enough time to be seen and it's not too late before it goes up. Um, and I'm about to work on this kitchen. I believe Josiah's up. I don't know if Caleb is, but I know Joe is up. So I need to get him something to eat and then work on this kitchen. So here's this hot mess of a kitchen before. Let's go to work. The kitchen is all nice and clean, dishes and everything up. I've started removing my few little Christmas items over there so I can get them packed up. But yeah, for the most part, the kitchen is nice and clean. I like to keep the counters as clean as possible. Just gives us more space, makes the kitchen feel bigger. So on to the Christmas tree. So let me show you my grown-up kids. We got Caleb, who's going in the refrigerator. For what? I do not know. Caleb, can we cl close the door? No, close them. Push the other one close. Close it. Close the door. Close the other one. Push it. Good job. So that's this one who thinks he's grown and head of the house when his daddy's at work. And then let me take you downstairs to the other one. I just 
Don't know. And Josiah is just too smart for his age. What you doing, Joe? I'm going in the closet. You're, what are you getting in the closet? I'm hiding. You're what? I'm hiding. Who are you hiding from? You're hiding from the closet in the closet? You are the... What's, what's that? What's what? What's, what's that? that was a Thanksgiving arrangement. Mommy just took the things out for um, our Christmas to put our Christmas stuff back in there. Y'all, these boys be something else. That's why I'm letting them. They got screen time going on. Disney Junior is they jam. I think they were watching PJ Masks and Puppy Out Black. And I am working on tearing down this tree. So I already started taking the stuff out the front door. My husband took off the lights yesterday as soon as he came home. I've got all my containers. Our tree goes in there. Um, got decorations that are going in there. And this tree is going down. So bye-bye Christmas tree. Angel's name? Well, I don't know. Your my mommy, your grandma bought it, so maybe we should call the angel Sheila. Can you say Sheila? Yeah. And I think that's Daddy. Daddy too. Daddy's home. I think that's super fitting since my mommy passed away six years ago Daddy. today that we decided we're gonna call. It's not gonna fall down. Ah. It's not gonna fall down. We're gonna call the angel Sheila. Can you say Sheila? Sheila. Good. Awesome. Angel the angel That's Sheila. Her name. That is her name. So yeah. every year we're gonna make sure the angel Sheila goes on the top of the tree, okay? Okay. All right. Perfect. I'm currently on my way over here to Goodwill to drop off some clothes that I was working on before. The Christmas stuff is done. It's over. The house looks nice and clean and straightened out, which I'm so grateful for. Um, hubby's home. I was going to take the boys so that I could um, sell some stuff, but I'll just do it tomorrow when I got to run my errands anyway. It's a lot of traffic for a Thursday, but... All right, let's get going. Yeah, I'm back in this kitchen. I'm about to make my keto mug cake, warm it up in the microwave. That's what's over there and wipe down the cabinets. Husband has to go to work in the morning, so I'm putting some sweet potatoes in there. Um, I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I don't want it to sit in the freezer too long, so don't judge, but... I got some chicken tenders I'm going to add in his lunch with some broccoli and sweet potatoes. And the boys, I put two uh, chicken nuggets, sweet potatoes, and then I'm going to load it up with broccoli. And then they normally want like a little dessert like gummy bears or something like that. Call it a day. Babe for dinner is about to eat his whole joy and uh, black eyed peas. So we just live a simple life around here. But now we are officially done with these sweet potatoes and we are done with them chicken nuggets. So we are clearing out old stuff out of the freezer so that we can add new stuff in. Well, before I forget to close out today's vlog, it's been a great blessed day. I'm so thankful and grateful that after six years with my mom being gone, God has blessed me to spend this day surrounded by my wonderful husband and our boys and we're just sitting here watching Netflix and enjoying the evening and I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog this little day of recording as always be blessed and I'll see you in the next one bye